Welcome to the Everything Podcast and before I get on to what I'll be talking about in this episode I just want to send a big thank you to Chuck for filling in while I took some time off from the podcast uh, so thanks for that as, and I hope you enjoyed all of the uh, Love, Death and Robots reviews as well as a chat about Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice and uh, the trailer for Sonic the Hedgehog Three, so I took uh, a couple of days off uh, doing the podcast just just for, for, for mental health reasons, um, and I just needed to to take a time out from it. Um, but with it, me doing an episode every every day, I, I knew I needed to do that at some point. Otherwise, I would have not done the podcast for for a long time. So um, that's why I did that. And um, what was the other thing? Yes, um, and while I was away, I was rejigging the stuff because if you remember the last episode I did was uh, one of your suggestions being the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare, uh, followed by the first episode of Operation Werewolf. I will still be doing some of your suggestions, but instead of alternating, I'm doing it in runtime order, so therefore I will keep doing the quicker episodes first, and then I will eventually get to those movies, but... It would have ended up with having like maybe two episodes for me a week max, um, and I didn't really want to do that. So that's why. But I'm actually speaking about that. I'm actually going to start with not a review today because, as you would have noticed, there was no spoiler warning at the start of this episode, and that is because I'll be talking about the big finish news for both July and August 2024 over the next couple of episodes. I don't know how many episodes it's going to be quite yet, but let's get on with it. So on the 1st of July 2024, we have the Sirens of Time Redux cover, which you can see here. Now this is a new version of the first ever Big Finish Doctor Who audio uh, titled The Sirens of Time, which was released I think in July 1999, and this is being re-released or, or it's been restructured, I think is the word they've used, um, for uh, 2024 to mark 25 years of Doctor Who audios at Big Finish. And on the cover, we have uh, Peter Davison, who of course plays the fifth Doctor, Colin Baker, who plays the sixth Doctor, and Sylvester McCoy, who plays the seventh Doctor. Next up, I will be talking about Dark Gallifrey, The War Master Part 1. So yes, as I just said, on the 2nd of July 2024, Dark Gallifrey, The War Master Part 1 was released. Here we have the press, press, uh, press release which reads as follows which reads as follows Benny and the Doctor hunt for Dark Gallifrey Lisa Bauman and David Warner start in Dark Gallifrey the War Master part 1 a full cast audio drama released today from Big Finish Productions the second trilogy of Big Finish's exciting new event series Dark Gallifrey follows a disparate group of time travellers each of the hunt each on the hunt to the mysterious version of the Time Lord Homeworld, along their number, is the scheming war master, played by Sir Derek Jacobi. In the first of the three episodes, the focus is on Professor Bernie Summerfield, played by Lisa Bowen, and her companion, a parallel universe version of the Doctor, played by the late David Warner. Set on making the greatest archaeology discovery of her lifetime, Bernie puts together a planet to locate Dark Gallifrey, and sets in motion a time-bending and potentially catastrophic series of events She'll need the Doctor's help to put things right. In intrigued by rumours of a hidden Gallifrey, the Dark Gallifrey of Time Lord Myth, Bernie Summerfield resolves to find it. But as the Doctor points out, some things should never be found and some doors should never be opened. 
especially ones that want to be. Dark Gallifrey, the War Mask Pass 1, also stars Jason Forbes, who you may have seen in A Gentleman in Moscow as Cardinal, Chris Luke Kemkoy, who you may have seen in Extraordinary, which I've reviewed both seasons, go check those out on the channel as precedent, uh, Terry Peterside, uh, who you may have heard in the X-Men audio drama as The Abomination, and Homer Chidawali, who you may have seen in Abisa Undead as a peculiar TARDIS. Uh, we have a quote from producer Scott Hancock who said, The lovely thing about the first episode is that it really celebrates the dynamic between the David Warner Doctor and Lisa Bauman as Belly, and taps into Belly's hubris of wanting to make a discovery for herself. Author James Goss added, The joy of Belly and David Warner's Doctor is that he is her companion. Denise has never actually made a big archaeological discovery, and here she makes a discovery that should not be discovered. The Doctor is aware that this is a very bad idea, but also that he is able to sort the problem out. Working backwards to the beginning, an actor Lisa Bauman said, James's scripts are always great, it flows brilliantly. I wouldn't say that Benny and the Doctor are absolutely unequal to him, but there's a recognisable relationship between them in that they are quite snappy with each other, but at the same time they adore each other. There's a sincerity that they can banter. Uh, we're actually going to look now at uh, Vortex Magazine, which is Big Finish's official magazine. Uh, which you can download for free on the Big Finish website or um, in the app. Uh, well, yes, which isn't quite working properly as of yet, but it, it's getting there. And um, yes, it, it, it's free. But so here we go. Dark Gallifrey continues with the release of the second adventure in the range. And of course, with this being set in the Doctor Who universe, things aren't always straightforward. Dark Gallifrey the War Master, a three-part story, features Derek Jacobs as the War Master, the late great David Warner whose final performance is the Unbound Doctor, Lisa Bauman as Professor Bernie Summerfield, and James Masters as Captain John Hart, plus Jonathan Carley as the War Doctor. Producer Scott Hancock says, I was presented with the idea either during or before lockdown when senior producer David Richardson said Big Finish was planning on making a series called Dark Gallifrey and wanted me to look after the War Master Trilogy because I know Derek so well. He said they wanted it to feature uh, a character from Portrait, Bernie Summerfield. It basically serves as a coda to the series, even though it is the second adventure in the range. The good thing about having having been asked to do the War Master with Bernie and Torture was that I knew these words, worlds very well. It also meant, as we were doing Bernie Summerfield, we were able to do something with David Warner. It was irresistible, making the Unbound Doctor to the wider universe at a point when the universe wasn't so widely exploited. Writer James Goss continues, The War Master is a experimental adventure. The first episode is all about the disruption to time caused by the third episode, and the second episode is about the unlikely wooing of Bernie Summerfield by Captain John. It was great to visit Bernie later on in life as a semi-retired cat lady who has put all her travelling behind her. Or has she? I've decided to make a quest by Benny the Doctor to find the location of the mythical Dark Gallifrey and about the consequences of that visit. The visit does not go well. Many years later, Benny uh, finds other people are interested in the location of Dark Gallifrey and are using her to get it. So she set to chat for them. Recording sessions took place when COVID was still prevalent, resulting in at home and in studio recordings on several days. Scott says, I remember we had two days with Derek remotely, two days with Lisa, and one in a studio with David and a couple of the other cast members. It was business as usual, really. There were lots of laughter. It was lots of fun. I felt really sorry, actually, for James and Jonathan, who did all their stuff basically on their own in isolation. For James, it was because of the time difference with America, which is always difficult because no one wants to start at UK night, so it was just me reading in. And then with Jonathan, rather than keeping him hanging around off and on for multiple days, we thought it would make more sense to record with him in a nice morning block. It's a great script from James Goss. The characters leap off the page and the dialogue works beautifully for all the actors. When I listened to the edits three years after we recorded it, I completely forgotten, forgotten who was and wasn't with each other. Teasing what lies ahead, Scott says there's a lot to love in these Dark Gallifrey releases. The first adventure is rather bittersweet because it was the final time spent in the company of Lisa and David. I will never not love that combination of characters, those people, friends, that's a highlight for me. With the second adventure, I think we'll throw people because everyone's expecting a series called Dark Gallifrey to be brutal and unpleasant, particularly with a character like the War Master and actually the second story is bat bafflingly ridiculous, silly and fun. Nay. It's the combination of characters like the War Master, Bernice, and Captain John together, which is just joyfully bizarre. The comic timing is incredible. Actually, considering they didn't get to record together 
This trilogy is another testament to James's writing, which just sings and everyone knows what they need to deliver. I'm really excited about it. While the story features the unbound Doctor and the a War Master, portrayed by two of Britain's finest ever acting talents, the pair don't get to meet, James says. It's gorgeous and sad that we get to give David's Doctor a rich send-off and hopefully we end things with him on the note of grace. He's such a hero, both as an actor and, and, and as a doctor, and much of this story is about preserving his legacy. Scott adds, even though they don't interact, having a story story both David and Derek was just really delightful. I know David also did Once in Future Time and Immoral, Christopher Eccleston, which I think was conceived after this, even though it was recorded around the same time. It's perfect that David's final outing as the Doctors with Lisa, because the characters mean so much to each other, and in real life they obviously meant so much to each other. Uh, and it just feels right. They get one last hurrah as the best of friends. That's it. And uh, we're going to finish off this episode with the trailer for Dark Gallifrey, The War Master, Part 1. Gallifrey. Dark Gallifrey. Hmm. Good marketing. Stick dark in front of something, it instantly becomes classier. Dark chocolate, for example. Name another example. Well, Dark Gallifrey. From Big Finish Productions, the worlds of Doctor Who, Dark Gallifrey, The War Master, Part 1. This place does exist, doesn't it? I rather think it does. A Gallifrey. A spare Gallifrey, drifting around in space. Anyone could find it, or it could find anyone. But I found it. My discovery. Oh, it'll make my name. I knew someone would find me. Someone clever enough to follow the clues that would remain. Imagine my delight when I realised it was you. The Time Lords in every universe view time as a precious tapestry to be preserved and mended. Dark Gallifrey sees it as something to be unravelled and refashioned. It's more than just an alternative. Oh, maybe less. Time Lords love dark secrets. I'm one of their darkest. And they're not even responsible for me. But you know Time Lords. They like to deal in time and lies. In order to keep a straight face, they keep me in the cellar. <laughs> what are you afraid of? One day I'm frightened I'll arrive on Gallifrey and feel at home. It all feels disturbingly familiar, almost exactly as I remember. Ah, oh, we shouldn't have come. I'm sorry. You wanted to. Oh, I couldn't resist. Imagine what we'll find. That's the problem I can. Big finish for the love of stories. Gallifrey. Going, going, gone. That was the trailer for Dark Gallifrey, The War Master Part 1, which is actually where I'm going to finish today's episode. But don't worry, we've got loads more of Big Finish news to talk about from July and August. So in the next episode, I'll be talking about 8th Doctor Adventures, The Stuff of Legend, as well as a whole lot of other news. So uh, let me know what you thought of the news I talked about so far in this episode, which was about uh, the Sirens of Time Redux cover and Dark Gallifrey, The War Master Part 1. Um, so yes, put your thoughts on those in the comments below. Um, and if you listen to Dark Gallifrey The War Master Part 1, let me know what you thought about that as well. And remember, you can put all of your suggestions in the comments below as well. I'll be getting to them at some point soon. Actually, um, in a couple of episodes time, I'll be starting a, the biggest suggestion you've sent to me. And that's because I, as I mentioned at the start of the episode, because I'm doing it in real time, one, that's just the way it's uh, figured out. So the moves will be at the end and the obviously the shorter episodes length will be at the beginning if that makes any sense and so put any of the suggestions in the comments below as well and remember you can also like comment like comment and subscribe and that's it for this episode of the everything podcast goodbye <laughs>